Hello and welcome to another Toon Kind at 12 FPS. My name is Winona and today I'll be playing Mad Lad and I'm accompanied by the wonderfully wonderful and amazing. Hello, uh, my name is Gyu, uh, Juby Kirin, DWP. Um, I am this server's local technical difficulty, so if I drop in and out, I bear with me. <laughs> but uh, hello, yes, um, today I'm going to be playing um, three very tall, very stupid, very wonderful birds. Which I absolutely love. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, did you did you say who you were gonna play? Yeah, I already said I was playing Mad Lad. Sorry, I, I just my brain just clicked. It's like, okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> for people listening in the future, I've just come off the ship, come off one of my shifts, so my brain is just a little at the moment. So bear with me this time. Yeah, um, same. <laughs> it makes total okay. sense. Okay, so um, I would say. What's Mad Lad up to at the moment? I say, Mad Lad is actually in the forest, and he is actually, you say, he's looking around. You say, he, has, he hasn't been in the forest for a very long time. He's, you say, things have happened recently. <laughs> hint, hint, yes. bait, <laughs> bait and switch that has caused him to be a little bit more reclusive as of late, but now he is sort of getting back in getting back to more of his normal self and recovering a little bit. And he's finally out of the forest again. <laughs> That's good. Uh, as someone that has not watched Bait and Switch yet and um, the second half of your uh, your, of your crew games, that, that context-wise, I have no idea what's up with him. This is going to be very interesting. Um, okay. The bait and Switch well, is the main one. <laughs> right now oh okay roll me perception quickly all right and whilst you're doing that i need to do the thing i should have done earlier but i forgot to do because it's, okay. it's okay it's <laughs> okay you're you're you say you're tired it's okay darling i know but still <laughs> i thought i had everything set up and then i'm like oh wait character sheet would be helpful <laughs> it's <laughs> okay <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first five minutes is just gonna be me booting up with the windows noise. <laughs> you are fair and valid. I that's why I have my cup of coffee in hand. Good. Coffee good. Now I'm waiting for, I'm sorry, I'm waiting for my freaking computer to load up my character sheet. What did you roll for percep did you roll perception? Yeah I did, up to fourteen. You did, fourteen, okay. Um I can't remember what it what the oh, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, I've gotta wait for it to load. Please <laughs> give me my sheet. <laughs> this is this is what happens. Okay, people listening, this is what happens when you don't pre-prep before a game. If you don't have your sheets up and everything prepped, then you just have, like, a couple of minutes of people goofing off, being <laughs> silly, yes. and not getting stuff sorted properly. That's alright. But that's alright. We're all here for the fun of it. I know! <laughs> right, come on. Are you loading now? 20% loading. <laughs> 20%! I can almost see it! Yay! Guys! It's like, I can almost see it! My character sheet! It's, uh, please, please stay. Please stay, character sheet. I need you. Do not shut down. Do not shut down. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on, man. Load. Load, you fool. Load! Rise! Woo! Rise from the fiery grave <laughs> upon which I summoned you from. Uh, okay, yes, that's what I wanted. Oh, uh, yes, that, there we go. Right. <laughs> okay. Um. So, yeah, Mad Mad, you're, you're just having a nice chill walk through the forest then, I suppose. And um, mm -hmm. you're... Uh, 
you're not gonna notice anything much. Uh, it's a bit of an overcast day, honestly. Um, it's the sun. The sun pokes through every now and then in like uh, in like little spots uh, from the clouds above. Um, and there's like a little little brisk wind. Like you know, it's coming up to like autumn time, or what we are. It's already kind of deep in the autumn time, so it's a it's sort of a chilly, chilliest little wind. Um, mm-hmm. Whilst you're having a little roam about. And um, do you want to make me a deck save quickly, please? <laughs> dex. He's used. He's. Let's see if he's good today, or is he still off balance? <laughs> you know, <laughs> still same. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, fellas. Um, let's see. Damn. 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 This is probably going to be their only good role, but I'm <laughs> going to take it. Okay, so Mad Lad, you, unfortunately, um, your senses kind of, as you're walking along, your senses kind of perk up and just say, hey, wait, something's not quite right, before, unfortunately, it's a little too late um, for you to react properly, and with a shake and a shiver, something just jumps out of the bushes in front of you, um, and has just lifted you aloft and carried you off. Wait, what? Who? Wait, what? Who? What? When? When? What? Why? Why? What? <laughs> He's just now looking around it's like, what has happened? Does he need to be worried? Does he need to get his weapons out? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're gonna hear it. <laughs> hey, Madeline! Uh, I thought it was mad red, red lad. No, 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 no. He's like, he's definitely mad lad. I thought it was sad lad. No, no, this is mad lad. Mad oh, lad. Anyway. <laughs> mad and, lad uh, just smiles like, eeny, miny, mo, and he hugs you. And he hugs all the your guys' necks. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're gonna give, they're gonna give a big old, <laughs> big old laugh for the chuggle, and uh, and um. You say, yeah, been a long time no see, Brett. We haven't seen you around for a little while. Well, uh, yeah, we thought, uh, well, we thought you'd gone off, uh, gone off sailing again or something like that. Well, it, you know, it's uh, it's good to see you again. We were in the area, thought I'd pop around, and we heard someone having a scold, so we thought we'd have a bit of investigation. And uh, turns out it's uh, it's another one of the, it's the, it's you again, having another little ramble in the woods. Oh, I so, see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot has happened. <laughs> he. He he smile. He tries to smile. It's like, yeah, a lot has happened. You can definitely get the vibe. He doesn't really want to talk about it. But he's like, it's great to see you guys again, though. I'm gonna roll insight anyway because these guys are really thick. That's also a nat twenty. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh <laughs> my. You immediately. <laughs> and um, they they see you. Give them a strange smile, and um, they all kind of sort of give each other very quick side eyes and uh yeah, they think they, they pass the conversation over uh so they, they yeah they all nod their heads and agree uh yeah let's not bring this up to uh let's not disturb this child uh let's not bring this up and <laughs> then they turn back to you and say well um really madly uh, whatever you've been up to recently uh we thought you know considering you're wandering out in the woods by yourself and uh considering we managed to sneak up on you rather easily we think it's a bit uh well we think it's a bit time for a uh, for a bit of um uh, what was he doing? What was he doing? Ranger training! Yeah, 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 ranger training. Let's, uh, yeah, 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 rainy, ranger training. I think, uh, I think, I think you really benefit from a bit of that, considering, uh, how easy it was for us to sneak up on you like that. Yeah, you can definitely tell Mad Lad has perked up a lot. Like, now he has, like, a full, like, bright, big smile. It's like, really? Ranger training? You mean it? Made it. Well, then we made it. Yeah, I mean, you're out here right now. You might as well. We might as well do it while we're both got some free time. We're not always here, you know. Uh, one here, uh, one uh, day here. Yeah, words, words, words. <laughs> Sorry. No, uh, you're fine. <laughs> just suddenly, words just went poof in my brain. <laughs> it's okay. Um, what did I mean to say? Come on, brain. Think of things. Oh yes, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, uh, Marnie was speaking. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're we here. Uh, we're here one day. Um, oh my word! I'm so sorry, guys. My brain is just plooping at the moment. It's all right. <laughs> what it's I'm all right. Tra- what I'm trying to say is, um, we're here. We're here one day, 
and uh, we're gone the next and uh, you know we're not always going to be around uh, to, to give you these little uh, tips and tricks of the trade you know and uh, I think with a, with a little lid like you, going out and getting yourself into as much trouble as you tend to, it'd probably be a good idea for you to actually, uh, you know, get in a little bit of ranger training and uh, Miney's going to just poke you in the belly. Um, I just want to say, as as they're doing this, they are also running along. Um, mm-hmm. they, they've picked you up and toppled you onto their back. Yeah. And they are running somewhere. You don't know where. And, Which is um, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, Mad Lad chuckles and like laughs when they poke his belly. That's true. <laughs> and um, uh, while while Miney was doing that, uh, Mo has um, Mo has reached into uh, into the ruff around his neck into the hammer space, <laughs> and that was a fumble. <laughs> so what the heck are we bringing out here, fellas? Hey, hey, don't freeze. Don't freeze on me, computer. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Sorry guys, it's nothing but technical difficulties and, and brain blurps today. <laughs> That's what you're getting. Oh good, actually. <laughs> okay, so what happens? Uh, Mo reaches into the rough around uh, his neck and uh, pulls out uh, a bag of something and you can hear it sort of sh- 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 as he takes it out and um Eeny is gonna look at him and say oh oh you got this give me that give me some of that and he's gonna try and snatch it out of <laughs> Mo's hand I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roll a dex against myself no screw that um <laughs> but basically uh Eeny manages to swipe this bag out of Mo's beak with a hey and uh Eeny is just gonna stick his head in this bag um whilst they're still running yeah mad then... light <laughs> yeah mad light like cocks his head he's like what's that <laughs> you hit the bag um, what and, <laughs> <laughs> and Bo's gonna say uh, well i need uh me uh i need uh uh I think, you know... He's had the last of the rations, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's had the last of the rations. Oh, uh, really, mate, you know that it was, it was supposed to be dinner. You know that it's supposed to be dinner. Um, <laughs> while they're having that argument, I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that meets it or beats it. Uh, um, I, I say meets it beats say, it. I would say, I would say it beats it. Okay, so what they what they do then? Uh, Mo sighs once again, reaches into his into the rough around his neck, um, and pulls out a length uh, like a black strip of cloth. Uh huh. And then they you've noticed as they they've been running along. Um, it's the wind has gotten quite a bit chillier because you've been running along, mm-hmm. and. They've sort of slowed down a little bit. They're not. They've not stopped, but they instead of a full out sprinting run, they've come to more like a trot at the moment. Mm-hmm. And Miney and Mo are going to turn down, turn towards Mad Lad, and they're going to say, "Right, so if uh, first first thing with ranger training, uh, the most basic uh, thing to learn uh, whilst you're out there." Uh, yeah, the most basic thing to learn is uh, navigation. It's really important to know uh, where you're going at any given time. Because if you don't know where you're going, you're just going to get yourself a little more lost. And trust me, you don't want to get lost, uh, even more lost, uh, than you already are. Because if you get even more lost, then you already are. Now, uh, 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 you, you, you know, you, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get a... Uh, and with a... Uh... Eeny's gonna finish off the rations. Yeah, you're going to get bloody lost, and you're not going to be found again. So, if you're able to get yourself out of the situation in the first place, then you won't have to be lost in the first place. And um, they're gonna kind of like hold out this black strip of cloth to you and say, yeah, if you wouldn't mind just, uh, you know, uh, putting that on for us, and uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll uh, do a little bit of training that way once we get there. Oh, okay. 
as he as he takes the black strip and covers it around his eyes. Yeah, I'm more I'm more of a hands-on person, anyways. I learn a lot of stuff by doing it. I make so like that's the kind of training we're talking about. You can only learn so much from a book, of course. Books are, you know, books are yeah, they're all right. But uh, personally, if you want to get yourself stuck in and doing it properly, then you need to go out and do it. And mm -hmm. they set off again. Also, I'd just like to know, I absolutely love how Mad Lad just blind trustingly <laughs> put on a blindfold that this <laughs> bird they've met, this is the third time they've met this guy, and they've just blind, blindly just trusted, okay, I'm just going to tie this around my head. <laughs> I'm going to let you take me whenever you want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mad Lad just... be mad like that. <laughs> I know. I love him so much. She's just like, I fine, I'll go with you. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, I've got another thing for them now. Where did I put your thingy jiggy? Why is that the thingy jiggy? Oh well. Oh <laughs> Dang! They've been doing pretty damn well. Yeah, they've been rolling really pretty session. good today. <laughs> um, alright, so for a little while, uh Bad lad, you uh, you're blindfolded, sitting on the back of this giant bird, uh, going at speed through the uh, through these woods. And um, what was Mad Lad wearing today, by the way? Is it his usual outfit, or has he put on anything different for the for the season of changes? He probably does have a coat for the season change, but other than that, he's usually he ha he's wearing pretty much everything else. All right, cool. Okay, so yeah, you're probably you're probably got like like slightly little goosebump chills on your legs mm -hmm. because again they're running very fast and mm -hmm. it is autumnal weather and a little bit chilly and um you can't see anything through this blindfold it is like suddenly someone has put like the lights out on the world of this thing mm -hmm. and um it's it takes about you can't tell how much time's passed but you can tell it's been a little while before uh -huh. you hear a of um, feet underneath you just coming to a halt, and uh, then you feel yourself sort of getting slightly tilted um, mm -hmm. back a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, did you want to take off the blindfold? Or... Yeah, Matt, uh, that Mad Lad will will probably assume. Oh, this is where we're stopping, and. He's going to, like, reach to take off the blindfold, unless any Mighty Mo in, like, like, says otherwise. They are not going to stop you. All <laughs> so, right, then they're yeah. going, they're going to take off the blindfold. Cool. You take off the blindfold, and, uh, you're not in the woods anymore. Uh, I mean, you, you take a look around, and I don't know how often Mad Lad or how far Mad Lad travels away from Toontown and from um, his family mm -hmm. um, but you do not recognise this place it is a lot of green fields um, you're on the top of a hill mm -hmm. at the moment it's not the tallest hill around there are hills that are taller and um, what, wait, from what you can see from going down the slope of, the, of these hills um, plenty of greenery it's quite quite a few green fields, a couple of like little valleys, not huge, mm -hmm. but just you know, like tiny little dips between the hills. Um, and yeah, you are you do not recognize this place at all. Yeah, Mad Lad has gone sort of far. I mean, he's been to Carmenia's that <laughs> little place before, so he True. has been far. But this is definitely in a direction he doesn't know about and or where he is right now. <laughs> um, unless you're having a look around, you're going to hear a <clears throat> from uh, coming from behind you, and uh, you're going to hear three voices say, To start off your training, first of all, you need to find yourself some way out of here. What you need to do, uh, we'll leave up to you, because, uh, well, I think the best part of range of training isn't actually, uh, well, it's not really telling you how to do it. More so watching you uh, figure it out for yourself. And we'll step in if things seem to get, like, you know, a little, uh, little iffy, a little dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, you seem to be going in the wrong direction. But otherwise, it's up to you to get yourself home. Consider this an escort mission. 
and all three heads are going to give you a big old smile. Matt lets my back and nods for information. Yes. All right. Let's do this. Though he, Ooh. though his first instinct is to look up at the sky, which he then re remembers again. This is a partially cloudy day. It in the middle of the day. And he's like, well, he can't navigate by the stars like he usually does. <laughs> Sorry, mad lad. You picked the wrong time to come out. Yeah. <laughs> if this was night, this would be if this was nighttime, it would be a lot more easier for him. But then he's like, "Oh yeah, it's daytime." <laughs> <laughs> um is there anything else you would particularly do? I mean, I, I'm leaving this up to you to, like, what roles and stuff. I've not really... Yeah. I've got a few things, maybe, but for the most part, it's going to be up to you what roles you want to do. He does have technically some navigator's tools that are with him, so he's probably right. going to take out his navigator's tools to try to calculate where he is. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you want to do that, then I would. It's up. It's up to you. You can you can argue something else if you want. But I would say that would be survival with advantage. Yeah, because I think... you're using your tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just to see if you can figure out where the heck you are. Let's see. Yeah, say it's also he does proficiency with this, so I'll do Ooh, with nice. his old survival modifier for right now. Let's see that. So it'd be plus. So I'll do this with advantage, so proficiency is three, then survival is wisdom. Sorry, I'm doing math in my head. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Nine. That's uh, pretty good. Alright, let's see if he can do let's see if he can get a crit. Oh, get... <laughs> nope. But hey, that's still pretty good. That's still uh, pretty I, good. Go, I'd say we go with that twenty one. Okay. Yeah, so twenty one. <laughs> With the help of your tools, um, I don't know if you have like a specific kind of design for these tools. Like, do you they're similar to they're similar to like seafaring tools, but there's definitely some that are more for land navigation too. There's a mixer of both, so no, sort I'm, of a I'm hybrid. Just, I'm just imagining like a compass and like a gyroscope, and like for no reason at all, just a really tall, long telescope. <laughs> yes, yes. Tells it's you. just he brings out like a whole science camp from his pocket and just plops it down. You hear like beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> going on. Which makes sense. His mentor was an alchemist. <laughs> or I say, not alchemist, it was a. Oh my gosh, I forget the name of. I, I can't speak today. He was. His mentor was an artificer. That's the word. None of us can speak today. We're both, we're both very valid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically with these tools, uh, um, you can't tell anything from the sky, um, mm -hmm. or even from like the wind direction, but you can tell um, from like the cloud formations, oddly enough, um, mm -hmm. that day, perhaps you were out, um, perhaps you are out doing something, um, like in Toontown before you started heading out into the forest, mm -hmm. um, but you did notice, um, you did notice coming from the north east direction mm -hmm. um there was there was kind of like there weren't like storm clouds coming in but there was like a weird sort of grayish tinge to that bit of sky from toontown mm -hmm. you can from that you can figure out that you are northeast uh, from toontown right now yeah and when my lad recognizes this he like big grin on his face we're north we're northeast of toontown and um all three heads uh give you a big smile and say well if, uh, if you figured out where we are then uh, the next step uh, would be to uh, figure out how to get where we need to go right uh hmm i mean we could just walk <laughs> i mean hmm <laughs> he's just like okay knows where you are the only solution to his mind is like, okay, let's just go forward. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if that's what you want to do, go for it. All right, he just keeps, he just goes forwards towards the direction oh. of Toontown. Oh, um, because we are in a hilly terrain, 
I will need you to roll uh, athletics for me because you're going to be going this this place this like field this mm-hmm. weird like field uh, fieldy hillocky place. Uh, it is very up and down. Uh, mm-hmm. There are mm-hmm. small mounds. There are big mounds. There's like weird little dotted dirt mounds on the floor that um Mm -hmm. you you can roll nature on that if you want um don't have to but there's there's a lot of stuff uh around and you probably need to roll this to see how well you manage to get through it all all right let's go with that uh let's go with nature first since he said he might as well go for it They're just okay. hills. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, with that nature, those dirt mounds don't look like, like, they look like, um, like, they're not natural in that something has made them, but mm-hmm. as far as you can tell, that's all, that's all we've got. Hmm. If they're, they say, if something made them, it may be danger. <laughs> he doesn't know the wildlife that much out here. It's like, Maybe he then tries to, like, not, at least while he they're moving through these hills, try to avoid those ones, and then, okay. but still go in the direction of Toontown. Okay, uh, roll me athletics then, please. Alrighty, athletics. <laughs> the... Oh, mate. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> I feel like it's one of those 2D things that he like takes one step forward, then tumbles down the hill. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just imagine him like he's he he goes up one hill just fine, and he. I mean, Mad Lad is the kind of kid who, upon sitting on top of a very big hill, would probably try to roll down. I would imagine <laughs> that's up to you. Yeah, to decide, no, but... that would be his. That he would probably try to roll down the hill. <laughs> Especially if it's a big hill. I just imagine he goes up one hill and then he gets at the top and he's just like, I'm going to roll down this thing. And yeah. then he rolls down and by the time he hits the bottom, he's pooped. He's just like, oh, now I'm exhausted because that was fun. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's a kid. Who would, yes, what kid so would want to roll down a large hill? <laughs> exactly. Look, man, I can tell you from when I was a kid, if I was on top of a large hill and there was like a very nice roll down it, I would be rolling down that thing. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Same. Yeah, but you're, I mean, you get like, you get a decent way through. Um, you, you, as you go by the, um, as you go by like these dirt mounds and such, you uh, you accidentally kick one of them, mm-hmm. and I mean it just it just kind of it's it doesn't do anything. You, you just kick the dirt mound. You almost trip, but you catch yourself. Um, mm-hmm. You continue on. It takes you a little bit longer to get through here than you would have thought because man, this this place again is really hilly and the mm-hmm. inclines you weren't expecting. Um, but you do eventually, uh, you do eventually make your way out uh, of this this hillock part. Um, you follow you follow a little valley down um, down into what seems to be like a little like a little patch of wood. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not the forest you're used to, but mm-hmm. it is it is a woodland. All right, um, heading uh, heading towards. Toontown, most likely. Mm-hmm. All right. Should I make another survival then? Because we are changing terrain type, I would say yes. Mm-hmm. I am also going to... Um, actually, I should have rolled that earlier. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, now I'm going to roll the uh, survival aspect. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Would you like to roll survival? Yes. Uh, I'll roll survival. Oh gosh. And I'll do. Say. With say, I'll do this with survival with 
profi say what proficiency. Yeah, just yeah. do. A, let's do with proficiency for right now, since he's starting to learn now, like how to navigate. Yeah. Let's see. So that. I mean, you've already got. You already know where you're supposed to be going. Is the exactly. thing. You know the direction. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Yeah. You so, need to proficiency. All right. So before. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Woo! For, nice, nice, good roll. Yeah, mad lad. That yeah, nah. You are pretty damn certain. This is this is the way you're supposed to be going because whilst the trees aren't super familiar mm -hmm. uh, compared to the ones near Toontown, you do know they they uh you do know that um the way they kind of group together mm -hmm. kind of sort of reminds you of how the trees and forests around Toontown kind of group together. Mm -hmm. It's the same kind of pattern. Which means nice. it's probably like the same kind of place, if that makes sense. Yeah. That makes yeah, um, that makes sense. Yeah. And probably as Bad Lad like leads them through this, he talks like I met a new say I met a couple new friends though, uh while I was gone. Really? Uh, yeah, well we just about to ask you what you've been up to, uh, we haven't seen you around for a little bit, so we thought we'd uh Double check and see that you had, uh, you know, haven't gotten yourself into too much trouble. Bad lad gives a little chuckle. <laughs> I got into a little trouble. The say huh. I met though I met some more friends my age though. They say met a, say a girl named Alexis, another one named Jackie, then a cat, then a cat um, guy. He actually looks like a cat, though Jackie's looks like a penguin. But anyways. Kita was their name. It sounds pretty neat, actually. Yeah, it's always good to uh, have friends your own age and uh, be able to go out and uh, have some fun. It's that's that's good to hear. Uh, yeah, even good Alexis good. and I went to one of my old my one of my friend well my older si older sibling used to like hanging out at a candy old abandoned candy factory, and the last time we were there, we were attacked by a by a horde of giant squirrels. Well, not giant squirrels. They looked big when they were chasing us. But Alexis um, and... <laughs> sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and Alexis and I decided while my sister, when my older sister is away, to get rid of the squirrels for them. So we can explore the factory more later. So yeah, we fought a giant squirrel. And I mean like a giant squirrel, but it was also made, of, made up of smaller squirrels. Do you want to roll insight for me, please? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, because, man. <laughs> this happened in another FTS you may or may not have listened to. Oh, mad lad. Um, <laughs> He's just having a joyous lad. time telling his friend about his adventures. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, He's just having a good time. You can maybe, you can see a slight change in expression, but you can't like you don't you don't even you don't even think it really happened with that expression like it just kind of it's just like a twitch of the face uh -huh. that's it that's all we get i'm sorry mad lad um but they all three of them slowly nod their heads and say ah squirrels yes sir well they can be uh they can certainly be uh pesky uh they're troublesome little pests, they're pests, that's what they are, they're absolute pests. Well, now, to be fair, they're not pests, I mean, they're just trying to, you know, live their life and stuff, you can be so hard to me. I'm just saying that I think that squirrels should keep to their nests, you know, and they're just gonna... Have... As a bad lad nods along with that, I agree, and out of my sister's factory. <laughs> and... Eenie's, Eenie's gonna be like, see, see, the child understands, don't you, mad lad? You understand perfectly. And they're gonna, it's gonna raise a hand, a, a claw out to you. Yeah, high happened. five. <laughs> high five, achieved. Yes. <laughs> um, is gonna roll his eyes, and you can't tell if Moe's gonna roll his eyes because you can't see Moe's eyes, but uh, they give the impression, certainly. Uh, they give a sigh, and, um... I need to roll something now. Give me just a moment. Alright. Um. Where is the stuff I want? Oh, sorry, you might be hearing my dogs. <laughs> oh, you're fine. They're good puppers. Uh, where are you? Where are you? 
Why do I always lose the things I need when I need them? It That's always happens. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Um, there we go. Oh, okay, cool. Goody. Right. Ooh, okay, never mind that. 20. Um, yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you're making your way you're making your way through these these ding dang woods and um I'm gonna roll a quick perception. Um, because as you're going along, uh, you're gonna hear a mad lad, you're gonna hear a, a noise. Mm. Um, <clears throat> mad lad, have you eaten today? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a one or a two. One he has, two he hasn't. He has eaten, but it's probably snack okay, time. Cool. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you hear a you hear a deep grumble from somewhere, and uh, you turn around, and you just about see. You know, in cartoons they do like that wriggle effect on the stomach. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you just about see that uh, on the fluff of Eeny Miny Mo's uh, stomach, and uh, Miny and Mo look down at their at their belly, and they both slowly turn over towards Eeny, who's just sort of you know. Still looking at the sky and having a nice quiet vibe time and then they look at each other and they're like Eeny, I did you eat you did eat the last of the veshies, didn't you? Well, I mean, Mo brought them out, so well I mean I was hungry, what do you expect? No, they Eeny, they was for everybody. I mean we what about me and Mo? We need to get some grub too, you know. And you hear another oh. And, um, let's see. Oh, very nice. <laughs> nice. Very, very That's the nice. third one. <laughs> but that turns you up like, dang, dang. <laughs> um, and they're gonna, they're gonna sigh. And whilst, uh, I need, uh, I need, yeah, Eeny and Miney, uh, they're gonna have a nice little argument chatter. Whilst they're doing that, uh, Mo's gonna bend down and say, oh, hey, Madeline, look up, up there. And uh, he's going to gesture to a tree above you, uh, just a little in front of you, uh, mm -hmm. to your left. Uh, and you can hear... Uh, actually, you want to roll perception for me? Yeah, I'll roll perception for you. Let's see. Dang, nice! 21 Se once more! Yeah, say 17's my number, it looks like. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, okay, so you look over... Uh, to where Moe's gestured, and lo and behold, hanging from uh, a tree just to your left, uh, you hear the sound of uh, uh, buzzing, and up in that tree is a uh, is a big old, it's a lovely big old um, what you call it? What's the word? Um, beehive. That's the word. Beehive. <laughs> I was gonna say honeycomb, but that was not quite the right word to use. But yes, yeah, so say, a, yeah, say honeycomb is in the beehive. You were close. I was close, just <laughs> slightly adjacent. But yeah, mm -hmm. uh, no, he's gonna just drop there. He's gonna say, oh, "Hey, mad lad, uh, this is gonna be your second skill." No, you weren't supposed to eat it then. Well, how was I supposed to know it wasn't snack time? Mo pulled out there, and they're just going <laughs> to argue while Mo's gonna talk to you. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is gonna be your next little test, and uh. If you're going to want to survive out in the woods by yourself, navigation's all well and good. But, well, when you're uh, struggling for a bit of grub, you've got to grub up and, uh, you know, get grubby. <laughs> and he's going <laughs> to... Mad last good chuckle too. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, next task. How about you uh, manage to get that down without uh, aggravating the uh, inhabitants? That'd be, uh, that'd be your next little joy. Hmm. All right, and he gives a little salute before going off towards the tree. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this tree, um, when you go up to it, it's it's a decent height. It's slightly taller than most of the other trees, but it isn't the tallest tree around. I'd say it's about, uh, I'd say it's about forty foot up, mm -hmm. roughly. Nice. And 
for people listening, I don't know tree heights. I don't know if that's a really tall tree or a really tiny tree. I say so you're. Yeah, I, I I know trees relatively, but I don't know exact heights either. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> so we'll just say it, it's, for the sake of D&D mechanics, it's a tall tree. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is what it is. Um, and, yeah. I mean, mm. you, you've, you've got a tall tree ahead of you, and you need to get the, you need to get the comb down. Hmm. Mala looks up at the tree. First instinct, get to the hive. So he's going to climb the tree. Oh, gosh. Okay, you're going to have to roll me... Mm. Let me see. Uh, are you just going to straight climb the tree? He's going to straight climb the tree. <laughs> All right, okay. Um. Are you going to Are you gonna do... Uh, I guess it's going to be another... That would have to be another athletics, unless you're gonna do like ca- fancy cool tricks or something. I say, uh, yeah, uh, say acrobatics. I say probably athletics, most likely since it's a taller tree. Though he could probably yeah. though. Are there like branches going up the tree? Um, I will say, uh, mad lad, if you try to, like, there are branches. But there's not many low-hanging branches. There are some low-hanging branches. There's a few, but, uh, I mean, you can roll investigation on those. Or actually, you know what, with that perception from earlier? No, I won't make you roll. You can just mm-hmm. look at these, and you can tell y- you don't you don't know how well or how long they will hold your weight um, for you to get up. So That's fair. Uh, yeah, he's just going to go pure. He's, then we're going to go pure athletics just to climb the tree. Right. I mean, you can roll acrobatics, but if you get a low roll, there's going to be consequences. Yeah, I know I could, but he's just like, hmm. He'd rather save his acrobatics when he's a little bit higher in the tree, where there's more sturdier branches. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so with that 14, uh, I would say you sort of get like a little running start and it's a little it's a bit of a scrabble at first trying to get up because again there's only a few low-hanging branches and there's not um there's enough grip in the bark for you to actually get your fingers in and start your way up but it's a bit of a tough go Mm -hmm. um it takes you a little bit um and considering how long it took you also to get out of the hillock it's starting to go from like midday it's starting to creep a little further into the noon time Mm -hmm. um so as you're climbing up, uh, the weather has actually gone from uh, overcast, uh, mm-hmm. like slightly overcast, to quite heavy clouds now. I see. Um, and the wind, the wind is picking up, uh, not not noticeably, not mm-hmm. not a huge amount, but there's there's a bit there's a bit more of a chill in the air, and it's a little bit a little bit more blustery as you mm-hmm. climb up, um, which might also be why you you struggled because wind mm-hmm. chilly also a bit of a yeah. blow mm-hmm. um, you do eventually make it up to uh where were you going were you going to the same branch as the as the hive probably the to... one right underneath it okay um so there's not actually a branch right underneath there's like a branch just slightly to the right of it like diagonally just to the right mm-hmm. um and i'd say it's about five foot out of your reach, mad lad. If you were going to mm. stand on this branch, uh, it's about five foot away from you. Mm, I see. Yes. So you can't quite reach it. Nope. Is there a branch? A... Let's see. He's trying to figure that. He's trying to figure this out. He's trying to do the maths here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whilst you're thinking. Um, me, my, uh, Eni and Miney have stopped their arguing, and they're like, ah, where's, where's the little fella gone? No, have you lost the child? No, oh, I haven't lost him. I've sent him to get lunch. What do you mean you've sent him to get lunch? Look up there. And they're all going to look up at you and say, oh, he's getting lunch. All right then, mad lad. Uh, when you're ready, just pop that thing down. We'll be there to catch it. Don't worry. It's, uh, it'll be good dinner. Trust me, it'll, it'll be fine. You'll be, you'll be all right. Yeah, just, uh, just, you know. Oh. Do you need to do to get that thing down. Oh, you just want me to knock it down then. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> As let's see, what does he have on him right now? Um one second. 
Okay, I'm good. All right. Let's see. What does he want to use today? Unfortunately, because of that five-foot little dr gap, he can't really use a knife or a scimitar. However... You can throw. I mean... He has something throw. better. <laughs> he's going to take out yeah. his palm pistol. His new palm pistol oh, that he's recently pistol. got. But first, I'm going to go for hammer space since it is in his hammer space. Nice. Yeah, he takes out his little small palm pistol. Looks similar to a smaller, you know, cowboy's pistol. Mm -hmm. And he's going to aim right where the hive is connected to not hurt the hive. To Ooh. get it down since that's what any mighty mo want. They just want the hive to come to them. <laughs> Look, they're hungry, okay? They are hungry. <laughs> well, I mean, my and Mo are hungry. Eni's just kind of sitting here along for the ride. But, you know, they are hungry. <laughs> they desire they desire some food, thank you. Yeah. It's about that time for lunch. <laughs> yeah, he originally thinks, like, okay, how am I going to get honey without being stung? But he's like, oh, you just want me to get the hive down in general. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. Mm. Yep, that's a that's a twenty-seven. I'm pretty sure that's perfect aim. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you you basically you 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 may not even have to like aim properly. You just look down at Eeny Miny Mo and say, "I got it," and then quick look back <laughs> and uh, yes. you shoot the thing right on the stem, and it gives a little shake. It goes still, and the buzzing you were hearing that goes. It did get louder as you're getting close to it. Now that's just suddenly stopped. And the activity of um, activity of bees around this thing have all stopped as well. And it's it's kind of weird. It's like it goes blink blink for <laughs> the, uh, five drops out of the tree. And I have to roll a I have to roll a thing to see if I can catch it. <laughs> oh oh okay. Oh all no. Right, so, eight, oh man. What happens is you you shoot this thing and it goes tumbling and Eeny Money and Mo go racing forwards. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Don't worry, Liv, we're gonna get this. Uh, don't worry about it. And uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll catch it. And they reach up, they do a little jump, and Miney uh, bonks it with his beak, which joggles it over to Mo. Who <laughs> it with his beak? Who joggles it over to Eeny? Who bonks it with his beak? Who joggles it over to Mo? And it's just, well, from your position, mad lad, it's just a juggle at the moment. They're just very, they're, they're juggling this thing, and it's it's precarious as hell. It's, <laughs> I was oh, about to say, does it land on their head? On one of their heads? <laughs> it, it doesn't land on their head, actually. Um, what happens is, it goes from eeny to mo to miny to miny to mo to meeny to miny, and um, eventually it gets onto eeny's beak. And any instead of instead of just like catching it, um, he opens his mouth and he <laughs> catches it in his mouth. Oh my! And you know how those cartoon hives have like that one little hole? Yes. Um, a la like Winnie the Pooh style. Yes, yes. Um, he tilts his head back, and you're gonna see. From your position up there, mad lad, you're gonna see Eeny just very slowly start to guzzle this honey down. Oh, <laughs> Miney and Mo are just looking on. With Miney's got just a wide-eyed, jaw-dropping look. And Mo's <laughs> just—you can't see his face, but you can see the shake. The shag of his head is just bent down, looking at the ground. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Eeny just chugs this honey like it's a freaking bottle of some fruity beverage. Yes, some beverage. <laughs> yes. Um, I would like to note that, um, the actual uh, the actual bees for this hive. Um, they don't. You know what? Roll perception for me. All or right. Nature. I. Uh, our perception. <laughs> right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Um, 
man, yeah, nah, you, you can't really make out anything from your position, unfortunately. You just see, you see there's just so much, so much going on between the heads, it's just kind of a mess, and the only thing you guys kind of see is Eni catching this hive and bringing it down, and <laughs> I gotta roll another thing quickly. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, and then I've gotta roll for them as well. Um, do the... Nice. Okay, cool. That's, well. that's convenient. Um, okay, so... Bad lad, um, you're gonna hear, uh, you're gonna see this happening, you're gonna see, um, Miney and Mo looking at, looking at Eenie with just sheer distaste, um, <laughs> but then you're gonna, you're gonna see Miney sort of, you're gonna see, Miney's the, in the middle head, uh, he's mm -hmm. got a mohawk, you're gonna see that sort of twitch up a little bit more, mm -hmm. then he's just gonna, his head's gonna snap to the right, uh -huh. And Bo's head is also going to go up straight and snap to the right. Mm -hmm. um, Amy is too busy having a guzzle um, <laughs> to really pay attention. Um, but you see them look to the right, and then Miami looks up at you and says, All right, Mad Lad, uh, I think it's about time you... Uh, I might want to come down here for a sec. We've got your, uh, we've got your third test, uh, your third, third test, uh, coming up real soon. <laughs> might want to hop down. All right, and that lad gives him a thumbs up as he climbs down the tree. <laughs> okay. Um, he sees nothing. <laughs> that's fine. He's just so damn happy. Um, and as you he come is. down, you're gonna hear the last little whoop 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 coming from the uh, honey, uh, from the hive, you're going to see any drop it. With... <sighs> Thank you for lunch, mad lad. That was truly very delicious. And um, just going to smack his beaks together like, mm. that was truly very, very good. Uh, I have left a little bit, well, I couldn't quite get all the honeycomb, so if you want, and he's just going to kind of like nudge the hive over to you with his beak. Mm -hmm. Um, and there is, like, there's, like, the tiny little dribbles of honey left, and a little bit of honeycomb, not a, not a whole lot. Oh. Um, but you will notice there aren't any bees in there. Um, huh. weird, but, yeah, no, there's no bees in there. Um, <laughs> yeah, are you gonna, are you, would you take the honey? Are yeah, he's gonna eat... Honey? Is a he's gonna eat a little. He, he wants to at least have a bite of the honey. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, you take it. It's it's honey and it's a honeycomb and yeah, you know it's it's not bad. It, mm -hmm. It's honey and honeycomb. Indeed. It's, it's straight from the tree. It's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. And as you're eating that, um, I've got to do a thingy majiggy. Ooh, thingy majiggy. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Um. While you're doing that, you're going to hear a rustle from behind you and a shh as Bo seems to have, um, Bo seems to have pulled something out of his hammer space and, um, they have backed up behind you, Mad Lad. Uh-huh. And, um, you're gonna hear, Mad Lad, you're going to hear a <laughs> coming from behind you. Oh, boy. Uh, you're gonna turn around. Are you gonna turn around? Yes, he's gonna turn around! <laughs> Mad lad buddy. There's a reason there weren't any bees in that hive. <laughs> that's because, uh... That's because they knew... They knew a... They knew a storm was coming. And as you turn around, you see a rather large, uh, brown bear shamble out of the bracken. Um, on the side of you, and Annie, um, Annie's gonna look up. Finally, that he's finished his uh, his honey and his comb, and he's gonna look back down at you, um, look back down at you, mad lad. And he's going to say, "Oh, well, I suppose this is going to be the final, third and final test then," and. Uh, Right, my lad. Final 
protest. Protect yourself against the wildlife. And I'm going to roll this again. Oh. And Eenie's going to reach into his rough and she's going to pull out his short sword. Um, and they're going to back away from you. Bad lad. Um, yeah. Mad lad is going to pull out his pistol this time. He hasn't had a chance to really use it, so... Wait, is a pistol a light weapon? I don't think it is. Nope, but he's going to take out his pistol. Alright, cool. Um, as you take that out, mine is going to say, Alright, okay, your third, uh, third task, uh, third task is, uh, well, defend yourself. Yeah, we'll be here if you need help, but for the most part, you're going to be on your own. And they're going to tap you, uh, Miney is going to tap you on the head and give you bardic inspiration. Ah! Then they're going to back up. Alright, is and... it a d6 or a d4? What is that? What's that? Let me check, sorry. I no, you're fine. Uh, where are you? Where are you? We're in here somewhere. It's a d6. Alright, d6. Just want to make sure. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do... You've got a brown bear coming at you, and it looks real freaking hungry. So, hey, would you like to roll me initiative? Yes, I will roll initiative. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Is fighting time. <laughs> um, average. Do? Hey, cool, average. Uh, Give me a second. Where is your thingamajiggy? Oh, cool. Straight that. Oh, not that one. That one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a standoff. It's just a standoff. For some reason, you don't know where this comes from, but uh, hey, yeah, Tumbleweed just goes <laughs> between you and the bear. Um, but I'm going to say with that, meets it, beats it. Mm. Mad lad, you get your first shot. Um, and yeah, this bear has just come out of the bracken growling at you because hey yo yeah you uh you touched that hive you got that honey and they they are also very very hungry yeah and since he still has the hive he is gonna his first move his first action is going to be throwing the hive at the bear hopefully distracting it okay uh that would probably be like an improvised weapon or something yeah it's or an improvised weapon attack way. So, let's straight see. D twenty, I think. I think it. Uh, yeah, I think it's a straight D twenty. Really? Oh no! It's too sticky. <laughs> oh gosh! I imagine it's like Mad Lad wheels wheels his hand back, like he's gonna do a proper proper baseball pitch, throws it, and instead of it, it leaves the hand. It certainly leaves his hand. But it doesn't go forward as far as he'd think because his hand, apparently Eni has missed a spot, uh, missed quite a few spots uh, on this hive because his hand, uh, Mad Lad, your hand is covered in honey and it's very sticky. And mm -hmm. um, as you throw it, it's just like a sort of noise as it goes slightly forward and then the hive just drops onto the floor about five feet in front of you. <laughs> well, shoot. And Mad Lad at this level has an extra attack. So, oh, cool. so he he's then gonna use his extra attack to use his pistol. Okay, cool. Roll to hit. All right. Dang. Ooh, 30, 20. And I mean... he's and. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll something and see if this actually procs. I'm gonna roll a d100. That's all right. Um. Yeah. Also, I, I did not know that was your modifier. I don't actually think you're going to have to roll to hit this thing because it's armor class. No matter what you roll, you're probably gonna hit this. <laughs> I mean, so... you always go for the crit, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's fair. That's very fair. Um, yeah. yeah. What was that? What it was, was the as Mad Lad like hits this thing. He mm. is a he sort of feels the magic and nature going through him, and Ooh. when the spot where he hits the hits the bear has a bull it has a sort of a bullseye mark on it. Ooh. Actually, no. Yeah, no, 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 not yet. No, yeah, this is a bullseye mark. I had an idea for a different thing, but no, this is for this thing. It sort of looks like a bull red bullseye mark as he's used his favorite but use his favorite foe ability as Ooh. like a, as a ranger. <laughs> nice. So what would what would that do exactly? It just gives him an extra D4 damage. Oh, okay. I mean, you haven't even rolled your damage yet. Yeah, I know. I haven't rolled my damage yet. But I wanted to see if that procs, because I was just going to say, as this is a try to do this thematically, see if the, at least some of the ranger magic is flowing through him. And I'm guessing that honey did it. <laughs> the honey did it. The honey has unleashed the beast inside of Mad Lad. Yes. All right. All right. So, pis damage, all right, it's pistol attack, so, yeah, 1d10 plus 5. That's, that's a max damage. That is max damage, holy heck. Okay, and then uh, add additional d4, that's 19 damage in one hit. Holy heck, give me just a moment, um, I need to, where did I put my pen? Where did I put my pen? The Hang power in nature compels so him. Do. I'm doing calculations here. I'm doing some serious mathematics. You're doing I a great job. It. I'm doing so well today. You are. Um, we love you. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so that is 19. That is 15. Okay, so... um. Yeah, you shoot this thing, and it hits it directly in the bullseye. Uh, is there anywhere in particular you wanted to put this bullseye on the bear, or are you just, you not fussed? I uh, say, he is going straight for the heart. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, so you shoot this bear in the heart, and holy heck, man, you hear an agonized wail, like a... <sighs> come from this bear, and, um... You're gonna hear, you're gonna hear also just like a little um, coming from the chest because you just shot it in the heart. That's heartbreaking. Oh. With that much damage, you just broke this bear's little heart. And oh. It's just gonna, it's gonna look down at the honeycomb you've tried to throw in it and it's just, it's wailing and it's, t it's so sad because you've just eaten all of its dang honey. <laughs> there is some still left, but you ate all the good stuff and oh man, this bear is, this bear is mad. This bear is so, 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 so mad. And uh, it's gonna run straight at you, mad lad. Um, and it's going to... Let me see. Uh, hey, would you like to do the thing? It's going to try and... Okay, that's a nine to hit. <laughs> does that hit? No, nine does not hit. Right, so it runs up towards you and it snaps its jaws at you. Uh, but you managed to just duck yourself out of the way of this thing because mm -hmm. it's it's spitting mad. This thing is so gosh dang angry, and in its anger, it turns back towards you and swipes at you with its claws. Does a thirteen hit? Thirteen does not hit. <laughs> oh my gosh, mad lad! Okay, mad lad, your ranger, your ready, your ranger senses have truly activated because holy heck, this thing has tried to swipe at you with its claws and chomp onto your shoulder and you've just dodged so just 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 on instinct you've just dodged this thing right out of the way and um yeah no uh it's back to your turn this thing is going to turn back towards you and growl deeply and um yeah your move mad lad yes and he still has the mark on him so i still he get... <laughs> and he says he doesn't hit yes he's gonna make another attack of his pistol <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. Um, you don't have to roll to hit because you're gonna hit this thing no matter what. I wanna um, see if I get the crit though. I always roll for the crit. Okay, fine. You can roll if you want then. You can roll if you want. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Not a crit, but still hits. Mm -hmm. 
And he's gonna do a... He's actually gonna do a winged shot. Which, now the bear has to make a strength saving throw, throw or he'll be knocked prone. Oh gosh. You're just bullying this bear, man. <laughs> <laughs> you shot it in the heart, you ate its honey and comb, and now you're just gonna try and knock it to the floor and beat it down. Hey, hey, I didn't eat all of it. That wasn't, that wasn't, it wasn't entirely mad, lad. <laughs> Look, you're the one that saw the honeycomb, okay? <laughs> Um, so that's 15 damage. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, 15, did you say? Uh, no, uh, so it has to be a 16. Um, so I caused 15 damage. Caused 15 damage. Okay, give me a second. I'm just gonna check something. <laughs> I yes. just need to check. Um, so you dealt 19 to it before, didn't you? Yes, it was max damage. Yeah, you dealt 15. Oh my word. Oh man, you turn around and you shoot this thing point blank as it's rearing back up to come back down upon you. And with your pistol, you just <laughs> shoot this thing and you pop it in... In fact, I'm gonna say you pop it uh, as its as its jaws are gonna come down towards you. It's looming up, up and up, and it's gonna come down on you. And just as its maw is just about to reach you, you fire your gun straight into this thing's mouth, and you hear a, uh, you hear a squeaky noise come out of this bear, <laughs> and the bear stops, and. It tries to roar at you in anger, and you just hear a. <laughs> and the bear is very confused. <laughs> the bear is very confused, and um. So is Mad Lad. Uni Mo and Mo are just sort of standing to the side, looking on, just blink, 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 blink. Eyes just like. Did you just? Did you just defeat the bear by? By giving it a by giving it a squeak by giving it a squeak you just make the bear into a squeaky toy <laughs> and they're gonna start laughing and um the bear's gonna look very embarrassed now the bear looks kind of embarrassed this is a toon bear by the way um oh. I cannot stress enough this is a toon bear and it's just it it goes from looming above you to just kind of shrinking back now and it's just like tucked its head and its chin down towards his chest and it's tapping its claws together and it looks very embarrassed and what it's gonna do it's gonna i'm gonna roll this again gosh okay it's not gonna do that then um <laughs> it's embarrassment at a having been almost like taken out by this kid and having been shot in the heart heart broken and now this kid's fired a bullet into its throat that has heard its voice so squeaky it's just gonna it's just gonna sort of back up on its hind legs from you all still tapping together looking from side to side sweating very nervously and then it's just gonna drop to all fours and it's gonna lumber away yeah that <laughs> lad just nice. yeah that lad May like winning, but this is a say, he's just like, he's not merciless. He's just like, yeah, this bear's had enough. He's learned his lesson. <laughs> Do not mess with me. Um, yeah. Congratulations, Mad Lad. You've, you've defeated the, you've, you've defeated the bear puzzle I have set up. Woo! And, um, <laughs> hey, Eeny, Miny, and Mo are gonna come over. Um, from where they were watching from the sidelines, um, and man, hey, nuts. well, I guess we really didn't actually, uh, have to help you out after all, you, you had that pretty well in hand, I think. Uh, yeah, well, man, thank you, uh, you really know how to use, uh, that little popper of yours, uh, I, Mad I'd say, uh, oh, oh, sorry, what were you gonna say? Say, Mad Lad Nod, yeah, L I say, grew, say, grow, grown up using these things all my life. <laughs> Um, 
I got a little bit head say shit that. Yes, it's good to know when to use a weapon from a young age. You never know when you need to defend yourself after all. Uh, adults aren't always going to be there to help you out, so you need to know when to look after yourself. Especially if you want to be a ranger. If you want to be a ranger, it's not just going to be you looking after yourself, mind. You're going to be looking after other people. It's the whole point of being a ranger. Going out, helping people, uh, making sure that uh, everything's in tip-top shape, and making sure everyone else... Uh, yeah, making sure everyone else is as happy as they can be. Bad um, lad nods at this in agreement. Yeah, I want to help people. I want to be, say, I want to explore. I want to help people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm gonna, you, you don't have to roll perception of this. They're, they're vibrating. You're gonna see, like, little sparkles coming out of Miney's eyes. And it's just there's just like a there's like a there's that aura of like happy yellow surrounding Aww. them and they're just looking at you like yes um <laughs> i've been rolled something also um, what was that mark i made on their chest <laughs> he does not know how he did that himself <laughs> okay i have to roll something for that because mm, i t <laughs> like i knew i really wanted to hit my mark but then that appeared <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna blink, blink, blink. Um, they're gonna look at each other and they're gonna say, "Uh, a mark on the chest. Uh, we we didn't really. Uh, well, I mean to say, well, we didn't actually see anything on its chest, honestly. Uh, so uh, we uh, and honestly, I don't. We don't know." What that was exactly? That might just be something your gun did. Maybe you have like, yeah. Do you have like a weird kind of gun? I thought there was a feature. Yeah, it might be a feature of your uh, of your little shooty thing right there. Huh. And they're just gonna kind of look at you and then look at your gun and look at you and look at your gun. Huh? I don't know. I mean, I know I saw a mark on its chest. Maybe it's a new gun feature that I learned. Maybe like it never did it before. But rangers are sort of magicy, right? Maybe I put a little magic into it. Hmm. They're gonna lift one of their claws up and scratch at their chin. It's possible, I guess. It's not outside the realm of possibility that, upon learning your important ranger skills, perhaps you have picked up some of the uh, the natural lessons of nature. Oh, maybe it was. Hmm. And all three heads are very slowly going to turn towards the honey uh, or the <laughs> hive that was left on the floor. <laughs> and then um, my knee and Bo are going to turn towards Eni again. Um, and they're, gonna just, they're just going to... Uh, Eni? Yes, my knee. You know that, uh, you know that honey uh, over there? Yes. Um, do you want to you wanna try to uh, maybe... And he's gonna sort of like gesture towards a tree. <laughs> and I is just gonna I You think you think I can shoot bullets now because I eat honey? Well I mean that's a <laughs> sort of natural conclusion, isn't it? I mean maybe I managed to do it. No, Madlan actually uh, used the gun to shoot the bullets. It's the uh, it's the mark thing that we need to You think I can actually shoot a mark out of me because I ate some honey? And they're gonna just I'm just gonna argue for a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. I'm very sorry, bad lad, but uh, I mean, congratulations, you have defeated the bear. You have. Um, <laughs> there is one thing you have to do, though. Um, We're still not just... home yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah. I would say, roll me one last survival. Alright, now to go my full modifier. Since this was also my expertise in it. <laughs> Let's go. Yes! Dang. All right. 23. Yeah, that not... The 23. Uh, Mad Lad, you are filled with the sense of... Man, you just took down a bear and you did a weird shooty thing with the gun and it made a bullseye on it that was so so cool and you're so full of hype right now that yeah no you get home just damn fine you're so full of hype you just you just go you just keep going in the direction you know home is there's like a little ping in your head that's like yeah 
this way. This way is the go to get home. And yes. you go, and Eeny, Money, and Mo follow behind you, still arguing about whether Honey can <laughs> suddenly make targets appear on people, and uh, maybe that is a, an avenue to explore. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, as you keep walking uh, through these particular woods, um, the overcast sky, um, it does get darker and darker and darker the closer you get to Toontown, and you, mm. hear, you hear the rumble ahead of you of uh, thunder. And uh, you may see a couple flashes of lightning. And you can hear rain, but it's not raining where you are right now. Mm -hmm. um, but you get the feeling if you keep going, um, you keep going, these woods, these woods are now somewhere you recognise. If you keep heading towards Toontown, uh, you'll probably enter a very, very rainy uh, evening in Toontown. If you keep on your way. Hmm. Looks like Rain is going to be in Toontown. Uh. His jacket. He looks at his jacket. It's not his rain jacket, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. Um. They're going to look. Uh, Eeny, money, mo are going to stop. They're all going to look up. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Uh. Uh, yeah, it's, it's rainy season, isn't it? Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be rain. So we should probably get get back to the yeah we should probably get back to uh uh wait hang on just before we do that uh Ned Led, uh hang on just a second and Miney's gonna reach into his rough and he's gonna pull out um gonna pull out something and hand it to you oh um, yeah uh if you want to are you gonna take it he's, got he's gonna take it yeah it. oh hey uh congratulations uh congratulations mad lad you are holding a little you can't tell what kind of metal this is it could be brass it could be bronze it, it, it's mm -hmm. I mean, you can roll investigation to see if you'd like but all it's right some kind of metal um and coming off and it's, a, it's like a it's like a disc and coming off from the sides are two little wings and in the middle is a big r and the, 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 the big boys the big boys eeny money and mo they're gonna look at you and say Congratulations on passing your training, uh, bad lad. It was a it was a tough go, uh, but you did you did a great job uh, getting yourself out of there and uh, getting down that uh, getting down that hive and beating off that bear. You did an excellent job, and you have earned this little badge as the sign of our approval of you. Uh, you officially becoming uh, a ranger. Uh, <gasps> congratulations and uh, welcome welcome to the team, bad lad. Look, yeah. Mad Lad looks at this and just big wide eyes. Like he has no idea what kind of metal this is. He doesn't care. <laughs> this is a badge. That's amazing. He loves it, and he immediately clip immediately clips it on his shirt. Well, not shirt. It's his jacket as of right now. It just mm -hmm. goes over a huggy Mo. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> uh. <laughs> They're gonna. They're gonna pick you up and they're gonna swing you around and they're gonna say, "Hey, problem, old matey. We're just glad you uh, finally got out and uh, got that little ranger instinct out of you. It's always good to have another one join the team, you know. If you ever need anything, just give us a shout and we'll be there as soon as we can." And they're gonna drop you back down, and they're gonna give you a salute with one of their feet. Yeah, and Mad Lad's gonna get a little salute back. <laughs> and unless there's anything else you wanted to do, uh. They're gonna they're gonna turn around and head back into into the woods. Yeah, I say Ma Mad Lad just waves them goodbye, and he's like, "Yeah, don't worry, I'll call you if I ever need you." You better. We're always free and available, unless we're out doing a mission, in which case you're on your own. And they're just gonna run into the distance. Oh yes, um, I think this is a good place to stop. <laughs> that's where we stop. Uh, oh. thank you. Oh, sorry, what were you going to say? No, no, I was about to say thank you too, so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening, uh, people in the future and, um, our lovely gallerists at the moment. Mm. Um, this was fun. Yeah. I apologise for the fumbling at the beginning because I forgot all of my things. But hey, you know what? We got there in the end. We did, and, and you did a good job. I tried. I a tried very hard. You, I could tell and you did a really good job. 
And you were, yeah, you you were all, you were fun. You were so good. It was so fun to it play was. with you and Mad Lad again. Yeah, I'm so I agree. glad this lad has got some skills under his belt. Yes, I'm very happy to. Yeah, say this has been a lot of fun. Say I always enjoy Eeny Miny Mo. They are an amazing character. <laughs> oh gosh, man, they they talk a lot, man. They they do they do like a bit of an adder. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's it was really good to play with you and Mad Mad again. Thank you very much for having this time. Yeah, and thank I'm you very say... much for doing this with me. You're very welcome. I'm gonna say goodbye to the recording and the people now. Uh, yeah. Listening. <laughs> Thank you once again, uh, future listeners and present. Uh, take care. Yeah. And maybe we'll see you around again, maybe for some reason. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, goodbye, everyone. Farewell. Have a good day or night or time. Just Whatever time zone. <laughs> exactly. All goodbye. right. Bye. Farewell.